Okay guys, uh, today we're going to be covering a couple of the bear canisters here. These are uh, common ones that um, I have and a couple of buddies have. Um, they are three different types, so I just wanted to cover three different types so you guys could familiarize yourself with them, kind of how to use them a little bit, and uh, just cycle babbling a little bit to get uh, you know some information out there. This first one over here is going to be the um, Bear Vault. This is the bigger one. They have the 450. This is the 500. Um, this is made out of some polycarbonate housing. Uh, they say it's 8.7 inches diameter, 12.7 inches height. The website says it's 2.9 pounds, but I actually weighed it. I'll show you a picture of it. And it's actually 2.7 on my Ghetto Homie Don't You Know Me uh, weight measure. The second one over here is the Garcia. The Garcia is also pretty nice. You're going to notice that this one and this one over here, they're very straight walled. Versus the Garcia is going to be like diamond shaped a little bit. So this one over here, uh, it's 8.8 .8 inch diameter, 12 inches high. Uh, this website says it's 2.7 ounces or 2 pounds 7 ounces, but I've weighed it and it came out to 2 pounds 12 ounces. Just a little bit heavier. Once again, this is my ghetto homie, don't you know me, weight. The second one is, uh, or the third one over here is the UDAP. This is my personal one. Um, this one's a little bit smaller as you can see. It's 8 inches in diameter, 10 inches in height. Uh, the website says it's 2.4 pounds, but once again I weighed it and it came out to 2.7 ounces. They're all made out of a very, very uh, slippery type of uh, uh, material. This one over here, the Bear Vault, they say it's a polycarbonate housing. This one over here, the Garcia, is an ABS plastic. And mine on the website, all it says is it's a bear proof polymer blend. Regardless, um, they are pretty slippery. If you have like a jacket or something on or a long sleeve shirt on, try to tuck that puppy underneath your shoulder or under your arm and they, they slide out really easy. Also, from my understanding, the dimensions um, or the diameter of it makes it hard for animals to grab, to bite into. Um, these are fantastic. Even if you are not in bear country, um, they're great. I actually got turned on to them this year, and I started using them, well, actually, I guess this year, last year. And uh, they're great for rats, for raccoons. Um, you don't have to hang a bear bag. All you got to do is just you know, establish your campsite, go out a couple of, you know, 100 yards or whatever, and then just throw this puppy somewhere else, uh, over, you know, by a tree or something. Make sure you ain't by a river, by a lake, on a hill, because if the animals do come and mess with it, just going to roll off the hill or cliff or into the water so watch where you put it. Another thing that's a good idea is uh, some tape, reflective tape itself. If you can see over here, um, this is my buddy's got some reflective tape. I have some black reflective tape here. I'll show you in a picture in a second. And my uh, buddy over here had reflective tape on it, but he removed it. I guess because I was going to use it for the video, but he should have just kept it on. Anyways, I'll probably retape it for him. So those are the three uh, different type of canisters. Um, this large one over here, let me see, it's the Bear Vault. It's uh, 700 cubic inches, and it'll hold food for seven days for one person. Seven days for one person. The second one over here, the Garcia, it's 610 cubic inches and it'll hold food for six days for one person. Mine is, I have no idea what the cubic inches is, but it holds food for four days for one person, which is more than I need. Um, I would recommend these two larger ones if you're A, a big boy, and B, you go out with like your wife or something and you want to carry the food for both of y'all. If you want to just go out by yourself, um, the Bear Vault makes a smaller one, uh, it's called the 450, the BV Air Vault, BV 450, and it's like about that short, so from here to here, so it is a little bit smaller. Um, this one over here is great too for one person. Um, the catch about these bear canisters is you're going to want to know how to pack the food. Um, usually what I do is I'll go out there and I dehydrate my food. Um, and understand also that uh, when I dehydrate it, I put them in vacuum seal bags. So they get compressed really small and uh, really flat, so I can actually put more in there. These are not waterproof, just so you know. So if it rains or something, make sure that your stuff is in waterproof uh, bags or Ziploc bags or something. 
Uh, another thing also is, not only will food be going in here, but understand that you're going to be putting in toothbrush, chapstick, um, if you use underarm deodorant, underarm deodorant will go in there. Anything that's going to attract an animal will go in here. So uh, understand that when you're buying it, that you're going to be not only putting food, but you're going to be putting uh, other items as well. Uh, one of the things that I really, really dig about it, you know, and I mentioned this just a second ago, was that um, you don't have to hang a bear bag anymore. You can just put that puppy out 100 yards, some reflective tape just in case, you know, it gets swatted, you're looking for some food or something at nighttime, and you can find it easily with the flashlight. It just glows really, really well. So that's pretty good. Um, the Bear Vault, I was reading something on their website, and they were saying back in 2007, they only had one snap. And I'll give you some close-up views of that in a second. And uh, I guess there were some bears in Lake Colden and Marcy Dam Corridor that could actually depress a snap with their, I guess their jaw, the mullet or something, and then turn the lid. So back in 2008, they came out with the double snap method, which is the newer ones. So once again, these little bears, over in the Lake Colden and Marcy Dam Corridor, they figured out how to open up the double snaps. So this one here, the uh, Bear Vault, is not recommended for anybody going toward the Lake Colden or Marcy Dam Corridor area. But other than that, these uh, Bear Vaults are super, super nice. Um, once again, they're not necessarily for just bear areas. Um, I'm using them now for everything. I mean, it's only like, mine here is holds food for four days. It's two pounds, seven ounces. That's super, super minimal for the hassle of not having animals go through your backpacks or try to get into your tent because they smell something. Just throw all your smelly goods in here. Throw, uh, garbage also goes in here too, old food wrappers, um, whatever, and put it away from your tent and you're good to go. Um, they, they fit in my backpack. I use a Gregory Baltoro 65. And actually, all of these will fit into my backpack if you turn them sideways. They just slip right in. So that's pretty nice. Um, so once again, I use them for everything. It's super, super convenient. And uh, it's not that heavy. Like I said, mine is uh, 2.7 ounces, 2 pounds, 7 ounces. Um, these all open up a little bit differently. Um, you can see here, this has got like a, you put a coin in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Put a coin in here, turn, put a coin in here, turn, and they open. Some people with the UDAP are saying that they're having a little bit of difficulty getting them open. But what I do is I just turn it, and then I keep pressure with the coin, and lift up, and it comes right up. See that? Turn it, put pressure with the coin, lift up, and it comes right up. With the Garcia, it's pretty nice, it's a little bit different. Same thing, put a coin in there, turn put a coin in there and turn, but it has this little button over here that if you press it, it actually lifts up the lid. And that's pretty nice, I dig that. This last one over here, this is a little bit trickier, but it can be done. Uh, it's got a lid over here, like I said, with two uh, depressions. I'll show you a picture of it in a second. All you need to do is just get these two knobs out, and after that, you don't need to depress it anymore. The only thing that I did not like about uh, the Bear Vault was um, because the materials are so slippery that it's hard to, it's easy to depress it, that's no problem, but then trying to turn it. And then even now it's like unlocked, but it's still not easy to turn it. And that's the only thing that I did not like about it. Other than that, the thing that I liked about it more than these two was huge opening. That's really, really nice. So you can compare the openings here.
this has got a giant opening. I really, really super like that a lot. So, super dig it. And that's about it. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to show you, this is my uh, bear canister here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how I kind of pack mine over here. I got some stuff in there. And by the way, these things are, uh, from my understanding, neither of them are waterproof. Um, so if you're going to put them out and it's going to be damp or it's going to rain or something, just put it upside down. And secondly, they make good chairs too. So this one, of course, is going to be a little low profile chair, but they make good seats or, you know, a little uh, makeshift table if you need it out in a bush. So this is my canister here. Once again, uh, this is just some of the stuff that I have packed in here. Some of the stuff I just threw in there. You can see it's pretty much packed up to the top. And uh, what I usually keep in here is all my dehydrated food. Got some, what are these? Action wipes, fantastic, highly recommended. Look it up, action wipes. Uh, they smell natural, they clean really good. You could use them up to twice or like, you know, cut it in half and use it twice. And they're great for washing out in the field. So action wipes, action wipes, cliff bars, Toothbrush, toothbrush is going to go in there. Uh, hygienic things are going to go in there too, whether it be chapstick, whether it be soap. You know, uh, I don't use soap, I use wet wipes. Once again, these things are fantastic. Look how small they are. Fantastic. Uh, got soap, beef stew there. I think this one here is uh, chili con carne, I think. I think this is chili con carne. Uh, some other stuff, this is beef stew, uh, I'm experimenting, one of them I'm putting um, uh, both of them together, what I do is I put one in a Ziploc bag, my rice in a Ziploc bag, so my rice and the chili con carne don't touch, and I put them both together, and in here I put them separately just to see if I could pack more um, if they're individual, like little fat hot dogs, so we'll see. Uh, and here, some more cliff bars. Um, this is just some Thai stuff that a Thai chick gave me. Uh, it's kind of like grits, and I put it in uh, boiling water on it, uh, put it in my cup, and I'll drink it in the morning. Uh, plastic food, uh, spoons, it's the only thing that I use. Everything I have is dehydrated. Uh, I find absolutely no need for a fork at all. If I do need a fork, um, I'll probably just bust out a knife. You know, I always carry a knife with me. I got a uh, Powdered Gatorade here. I always use powdered Gatorade just in case you need a little bit extra uh, electrolytes. Uh, what is this? This is hot chocolate. Hot chocolate's good. Tea. I got individual packs of honey over here, which uh, I use to sweeten my tea. I am a tea drinker. I don't drink coffee. Uh, I have different types of tea over here. I always drink tea. Some more of that grit stuff, uh, some oatmeal. This is what I usually eat for breakfast. Don't need to eat heavy. Um, some people will get some uh, like uh, uh, like nuts or some granola, crushed granola, and they'll put granola into their uh, um, oatmeal, and that's fine. Gives you a little bit of boost of uh, energy, a little bit more food and calories. Um, you could even uh, leave it at that. Some more action wipes. And something to think about too, uh, some people like myself, they'll cut off the top right where it's been burned off, right where it's been burned, the vacuum seal, and we'll just, I'll, I'll pour the hot water right in here, and I'll just eat right out of the bag. So that's why one of the reasons that I like a spoon, so it doesn't puncture my bags. And I'll just eat right out of the bag, when I'm done, crunch it up, I'll have another bag separate, that'll be my garbage bag, I'll just put all the garbage in there throw it in here. This is also going to be my garbage container. Once again, after you finish eating, it's going to smell. Uh, some people, they put cozies because once you put the boiling water in here after you cut this bag, um, it doesn't, how do I say, it? the ambient temperature is actually touching the bag. So the food will cool off a little bit faster. But some people use cozies and if you put a cozy over this um, and you pour the boiling water on it, it'll actually stay a little bit hotter and it'll cook a little bit more thorough. Another thing that someone taught me was go to Jack in the Box. You know those little teriyaki bowls or whatever? These things are fantastic too. They weigh like what? An ounce? Two ounces? Sorry I didn't weigh it but 
They're, you know, I'm not worried about breaking them. They're super flexible. You can throw all your food in there. Um, same thing if you want to make a cozy for it, that's totally cool. Uh, if you want to make like a bowl for soup or whatever, these things are fantastic. Pour it in there, put the boiling water in there, cover it up, bam, good to go. So that's pretty much what I have in mind. You see it's empty now. Uh, I just threw this in here just for you guys to see that you can pack a lot of food in here. Um, this is definitely, you know, maybe two days worth of food for me, maybe three. Um, so that's it. So these are the three different type of uh, beer canisters. The UDAP, which is a smaller one. You have the Garcia, which holds for six days. And then you got the larger bell vault. And that'll hold food for seven days for the guys. So all these beer canisters, highly, highly recommended. Fantastic. If you're going out in the bush, use them. Once again, they're not just for bears. You can use them for raccoons to keep the rats out, to keep the marmots out, um, to keep some of the temperature out, you know, the inclement weather. So they're fantastic, highly recommended. So get yourself a bear vault and uh, be safe.